Okay, so one of the most gratifying things I think as an editor is when I put out a finished product and somebody asks, how did you do that? I think it's especially gratifying when somebody who's in the production asks, how did you do that? They were there for the production, they saw the shoot, they, were, they participated in the shoot, and still when they saw the finished product, they were like, wow, how'd you do that? So I figured I would, you know, run through the scene really quickly. If you want to see the full scene, it's at Elena Cirillo Comedy on Instagram. Basically, it features a family driving in a car. And for a million different reasons, it was not realistic to shoot the scene while driving in a car. So instead, we shot the scene sitting in front of my apartment. You can see a couple of things. Number one, we're not driving on the road. And number two, our driver is obviously not sleeping. We had to work on a couple things. So for now, we're acknowledging that the driver is not sleeping. We have to work on that later. For now, sorry, pal. So what we started with was just the raw clip of the family in the car doing their thing. <laughs> Anthony just out here doing his thing. Kids in the back, not moving, not in any danger whatsoever. What I needed to do, because we didn't have a green screen, is basically create a stencil or what's called a luma mat out of all the dark and light places on the screen. So I put an effect called Threshold on the original video, which basically turns it to black and white, and then you play with it to get it as black and white as you possibly can. What's gonna happen is the video is gonna show through the black part of this stencil, basically, and the white is going to cover up what we don't wanna see. So what I need to do is clean up by adding white pieces all around here, you know, all these different areas, and I need to add black where I want the video to show through. So I basically have now a nice clean stencil to basically lay over top of the original footage and show only what I want the audience to see. So everything else is now completely transparent. Then what I can do is I can add in the road scene and a lot of people don't realize this but it's actually running in reverse it's easier to find stock footage of people driving forwards than looking out the back window. Little known fact uh, so there you go, you can take that one home with you. So here we are, we have the family, for the most part, showing through the stencil that I made, and the background is now in the background. The only problem is, again, you know, daddy's not sleeping, and the whole point of the joke is that daddy's sleeping here, right? So what I needed to do was I needed to go and find a piece of footage that ended up only being like a couple of seconds long of Anthony appearing to be sleeping. Then what I had to do, okay, was basically cut Anthony out of the footage. There he is, snoozing away, just all by himself. That took that couple of seconds and I ran it forwards and then backwards and then forwards and then backwards and just basically had Anthony snoozing away up and down, up and down. I tilted him around a little bit just to make him fit over the scene a little bit better. And then, boom, daddy's sleeping. You just have to do a little housekeeping by his head there. Nice, very good. And now daddy is sleeping and the rest of the car is com going completely nuts, which is great. Driving down the road, obviously backwards. So that's the daddy's sleeping car scene, luma mat, creating a stencil, and then just making my layers and putting all those layers together. I hope you enjoyed this skit and thank you for watching.